Hello everybody! This video is about the blue screen of death, or stop errors in Windows. Let's talk about why such errors happen and how to fix or eliminate them. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. A stop error or a blue screen of death is a warning about a critical system error in Windows. Today you can face two kinds of such blue screens. The old version, like in Windows 7 and the new version like in Windows 8 and 10. By their nature, they don't differ much. It's a notification of the fact that the system ran into a critical error. In general recommendations for the user on how to fix the problem. And the stop code of the error to help you decode the information and understand what exactly caused the error. Often the first reaction of a user is to try restarting the computer as soon as possible. However, to fix the problem you need to eliminate its cause, and you can learn it by working out its stop code or name. There are many such errors. That is why I cannot decode all of them in this video. At Microsoft Official website you can find the list of all error stop codes. I will give the link in the description. The most widespread blue screen errors are the following. APC index mismatch IRQL not less or equal Invalid process attach attempt Invalid software interrupt Data bus error HAL in initialization failed Inaccessible boot device By the way, there is an article in our blog about the last one on the list – Inaccessible boot device error in Windows 10, 8 and 7. Of course, every stop error has a specific cause, but generally speaking you can see a blue screen of death if a hardware element is out of order, like hard disk, random access memory, graphics adapter, power unit, etc. Uh, if there is a conflict between devices of the computer, some hardware is incompatible with the operating system, a device suffers from overheating, you are using wrong drivers or there is a driver conflict, you are using wrong BIOS settings, the hard disk is running low in free space, the computer is attacked by malware or viruses, and so on. Finally, the most important thing – how to eliminate or fix the blue screen errors. The Microsoft official website contains very general information on the issue. I will give the link in the description. But in fact, I could make a separate video for every error, but I'll try to classify them somehow. Here are the 10 recommendations to eliminate blue screen errors that will fix any blue screen error. The first step I recommend is launching the built-in Windows tool named Blue Screen. To start it, go to Control Panel, Troubleshooting, View All, Blue Screen. By default, the tool will apply repairs automatically, as in the case with all Windows troubleshooting utilities. If you just want to start this tool without automatic repair, click on Advanced and uncheck the box Apply repairs automatically. Click Next to continue. The tool interprets blue screen codes and tells you why the blue screen error appeared. Faulty hardware, disk errors, malware, memory failures, services, device drivers and so on. In my case there are no errors, but if there are any, the tool will show them. If the integrated blue screen troubleshooter gave you no results, you will have to look for the causes and solutions on your own. First of all, check if there is enough space in the system partition of your hard disk. If it's low on space, free up some more by deleting unnecessary data. Visit our channel to watch a detailed video about cleaning the system drive of a computer or laptop. You will find the link in the description. Scan the operating system with an antivirus to delete malware, viruses, trojans, etc. We also have a special video on this topic. Follow the link in the description. Sometimes a blue screen error appears because of operating system failures, absence or wrong installation of certain updates. Microsoft often rolls out updates or new builds for its operating systems. Installing updates regularly and updating the system timely will help you to avoid most errors. 
Read more about installing Windows 10 updates in our blog. I will give the link in the description. If you see an error after installing a driver or a program recently, roll the driver back to an older version. To do it, go to Device Manager, find the device where you updated drivers recently and right-click on it. Go to Properties – Driver and click on Rollback Driver. This button will become active after a device driver is updated or installed. Things are simpler with programs. Uninstalling will eliminate the root of the problem. It is true if the blue screen of death appeared right after you had installed the program. If the blue screen appeared after you connected a new device to the system, you should check the device for compatibility with your operating system and other hardware, such as the motherboard or the processor. If you are sure that the device is compatible, you should update or download latest drivers from the manufacturer's official website and install them. Read more about it in our blog, in the article entitled How to safely update the hardware drivers in Windows. I will give the link in the description as usual. Set BIOS to default. Wrong BIOS settings may have disastrous consequences and the blue screen of death is not the worst problem you can get. If you are not sure about your skills, you'd better change nothing in BIOS. Watch a special video about entering BIOS or UFI of different versions. You will find the link in the description. Very often stop errors are caused by faulty system memory. You can use both Windows-integrated programs and third-party utilities to test the memory. Read our blog to learn how to use the test checking utility in Windows 10 807. Find the link to the article in the description. If you discover a faulty memory stick, it should be replaced. If your computer has, use, uses two or more memory sticks, taking out the faulty one will eliminate the problem. Check the hard disk for bad sectors and errors. If possible, fix the errors and restore bad sectors with standard Windows tools or third-party utilities such as Victoria. I recommend watching our video about checking the hard disk for errors and fixing them in Windows 10, 8 and 7. I will give the link in the description. Make sure the computer doesn't suffer from overheating. Clean it from dust and grease the coolers. If necessary, install additional cooling to organize proper airflow inside your system unit. Follow the link in the description to watch a video about checking the temperature of the processor, graphics card or hard disk in a computer or laptop. And even if none of these methods helps you, the last option is to reinstall the operating system. For this step, we also have a video on our channel. Watch it to learn how to make a clean installation of Windows. And some more useful information. In most cases, when a blue screen error turns up, the computer doesn't wait for the user's reaction and restarts automatically after a certain period of time. Usually it's several seconds. Shocked users are not always lucky to note down the stop code. In this case, there are two options – to disable automatic system restart when a blue screen appears or view the information about the problem in the event viewer. For this purpose, there, there are also third-party apps such as Blue Screen View. I have made a detailed video about viewing information on errors and fixing Windows errors with Reliability History Options or Event Viewer. You can watch it by following the link in the description. To disable automatic restart of the operating system in case of a blue screen, right-click on this PC, select Properties. Advanced System Settings – Advanced. In the menu Startup and Recovery, click Settings. In the section System Failure, uncheck the box next to Automatically Restart and click OK. Now the computer will not restart automatically in case of a stop error. You'll be able to restart the computer by pressing the button when you want it. That is all for now. If you found this video useful, click the like button below and subscribe to Hetman Software channel. Ask questions in your comments. Thank you for watching. Good luck!